Video and social media do not work if you don't have a strategy behind it. I'm going to show you the strategy behind making social media and video work. We have a tendency, do you know that we have between uh, 1,000 and 60,000 thoughts in a day? So you're like, how come that's only, that's a huge difference? Well, some of you sleep too much. But the idea is, this, is that research shows that about 85% of our thoughts are actually negative. Okay, so we, have a, we genetically have a predisposition to, have, to be negative. So what I want to encourage you today to do is to be as open-minded as possible. Okay, so you're here, be as open-minded, and when you hear that negative voice saying, I can't do that, I'm too young, I'm too old, I'm too new, I'm too thin, I'm too heavy, whatever it is that you say, I want you to stop yourself. Can we do that today? Okay, because it doesn't make any sense to be here if you're not like totally open to actually learning, all right? Make sense? Okay, and I, like, I never want to stop learning. I love learning, like always give me more, give me more, give me more. But here's the cool thing. So Brent said, Krista, people get so overwhelmed. Can you do me a favor? Can you give them like an action plan when you're done with your, with your training today? Can you give them like six things they absolutely have to do no matter what right now to succeed? And I said, sure. So then I got really psycho and I was like, I'm going to actually start and like give them a 30 day action plan. And the whole training is going to be a 30 day step by step action plan. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. So if you want to learn to, does anyone here know how to make like really super great chocolate chip cookies? Anybody? Okay. So let me see. What's your name? Nina. Nina could you teach somebody, since you're great at making chocolate chip cookies, can you teach somebody else how to make chocolate chip cookies? Okay, so we're going to assume that one smart individual can teach another okay smart individual how to do something, right? Yeah. Can we? Yeah. Yes! Everyone say yes. yes. Okay, so if you want to learn to do something, who do you go to? The person that's done it. Okay, great. Well, you're in the right spot because we can't make slides work, but let's see here. But that's because I can't do the thing. But I'm going to give you a step-by-step plan of how to dominate your market utilizing social media and video, all right? Now, some of you, most of you, if you like to do video, you're one of the weird people, okay? I'm just gonna say most people are petrified of doing video. We're afraid that we're gonna make a mistake. We're afraid people aren't gonna like us. We're afraid of all these things. And so we just don't do it. But I'm gonna tell you something. Video has helped me build two multi-million dollar businesses. In fact, in the past four years, I have generated $40 million online. Now that's not gross sales, that's 40 million contracted sales online in four years. Does that sound good? Yeah. I'm gonna learn how? Okay, and in real estate, I'm at a point now in my business where, um, and in my best year in real estate, I sold 169 homes myself with a transaction coordinator and a TC, okay, or an assistant. No other licensed people. So I've sold over 100 homes pretty much every year for 20 years straight without a huge team. I'm going to show you how I have done that since day one. But as the market changes, how I've been able to do that on a level where I'm taking myself out of my business without working weekends, without working nights. And four years ago when I left real estate to be a full-time coach, that year I sold 154 properties. And so now I'm able to still do I think we did 1.6 million in commission last year and I didn't talk to one seller or one buyer. <gasps> Yay! All from video and social media. And that's what we're going to be talking about. So when you, when that voice says, I can't do that for whatever reason, I want you to like slap yourself right away and go, yes, I can. I can do it. Okay, get yourself back here, all right? I'm 50 years old. If I can do it at 50 years old, you can do it at, at 70 years old, okay? Got it? All right, all right, so we're gonna go over a 30-day action plan, and I would consider myself a digital marketing expert, okay? We've, we've done, you know, we've gotten crazy awards from doing amazing things online digitally. And again, I don't say that to brag. I don't care about me, I care about you, all right? So when you want to learn to do something, you go to somebody who's doing the thing that you wanna learn. So open up your mind and be open-minded and say, I can do it, everyone say that. I can do it. Say, I'm next. I'm next. I'm next. I'm next. Okay. So today, anytime you th think something's cool, I want you to say like, I'm next. And then like really get ready to do the thing. I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it. Now here's the thing. 
Video and social media do not work if you don't have a strategy behind it. I'm going to show you the strategy behind making social media and video work. And people, I've spent millions of dollars, and I'm not kidding, millions of dollars on my online education, hiring co coaches and consultants, experts in the field to learn this stuff. And it's so funny, we're not taught this as real estate agents. They don't, they teach us like how many square feet there are in a mile, who the hell cares? And who knows? Well, I still don't know that, okay? But they don't teach us how to be a marketer. And what I want you to think about, if you want to be a top producing agent, you want to be a marketer first, okay? And I got a little nervous, so I forgot to say, thank you, Brent, for having me here. We love you, XT. Thank you for, for letting me be here. I'm so honored and so grateful. I love being a part of this organization. What I love most about it is how dedicated they are to education and to helping their agents be the best that they can be. So first of all, there's probably, what, about 200 people in this room, and you are the ones that were meant for greatness because you took the time to be here, right? We should never stop educating ourselves. So I believe that what gets celebrated gets replicated. I believe that success breeds success. And the more you focus on what you do right, the more you will do with it. I'm a crazy, crazy mindset person. So right now, just be like, I'm here, good job. Like seriously, good job, okay? So much of your success, and we're gonna start with that today, is dependent upon your thoughts, right? Thoughts, what you think about, your philosophies, your beliefs, that turns into your actions that we're gonna get, I'm kinda getting ahead. But I'm gonna show you an exact, 30-day plan. Can you do anything for 30 days, everybody? Yes. Guess what? Most of you won't. And I don't mean to be. I've been, I've been coaching agents, and we're like, there's a five-day thing. And by day one, there's, you know, 150 people or 500 people. And on from day one to day five, on day five, after only an hour a day, there's like 100 people. Because people aren't willing to do what it takes. So right now, we need to make the commitment. Like, the market's changing. We have to be marketers first. Okay, commit to yourself. You deserve it that you're gonna actually do it. Can we commit right now? Yes. Everyone say yes. yes. Yes, okay, again, remember, high energy equals high income. So what that means is natural learning is this. I used to be a teacher. I taught third grade for six years. I have a master's degree in curriculum and instruction. And we learned that natural learning is when somebody's helping you teach you, the more that you yell things out, the more that you interact and the more that you respond, that's called natural learning. You will be more likely to implement and you'll learn more quickly. So. Engage back if you can. Plus, you know, if, I, if, I, if you guys aren't nice, you might feel like I suck and then I'll feel bad. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, they don't like me. Uh, and that's happened before. I'm like, oh my God, this, this group is so rough. But you guys are not like that. So thank you so much for, for being so supportive. Okay? So in life, in real estate, in business, in marketing, in video, we have to commit to consistently producing content correctly. I'm going to go over that. If we do that, we're gonna make a connection, so we're gonna convert more customers and clients. This right here is 1,000% what it's all about, okay? Every single one of those is so important, and here's the biggest issue I see people make is that they're not consistent, okay? They do something, they don't see the results right away, so I want you to take a picture of that. I want you to remember that if you can commit to consistently producing content Correctly, correctly meaning it's actually being seen. You will make a connection, you will convert more, all right? And you're gonna have more closings and customers and clients because of it, so we can all do that. Also, 87% of agents are expected to fail within the first three years, five years, I'm sorry, that is a stat from the National Association of Realtors. That stat is old. I believe that it's gonna be a lot more than that because of we have never had so many agents entering the market. So what does that tell you? That tells you that right now, more than anything, you need to be not a commodity. What's a commodity? A commodity is something that's replaceable and interchangeable, okay? You need to truly have your unique selling proposition, all right? To be different, to stand out, to make an impact. And when you make an impact, then you'll be able to have the tools and resources to go over there and knock it out of the park. Now, more than ever. We agree? Okay, good. Now. Most businesses, okay, this is, this is how a business is run. And guess what? You guys are business owners. You're entrepreneurs. You're business owners. You're not just real estate agents. You're business owners. You're marketers. And what happens is, is that as a business owner, as a marketer in real estate, because we were not taught, again, not your fault, we were not taught how to operate a business, we don't understand how important every single aspect of the sales cycle is. Marketing, right, followed by lead generation, Marketing is attraction. So when you market appropriately, people are gonna raise their hand and say, hey, I wanna work with you. That's what proper marketing is. 
When you market and people say that, you're going to generate leads, okay? But we have to make sure that we nurture those leads, especially in real estate, because people don't just wake up one day and say, I want to sell a house or buy a house. They're typically thinking about it for several months prior. So our goal as marketers is to show up way beforehand when they're looking before they're ready. Does that make sense? Okay. So when, we're, when we nurture these leads, once we get them, we got to keep on nurturing, keep on nurturing. When we do that, it's helping us position ourselves as the authority. It's showing that we, we're breaking down people's barriers. They're getting to know us, to like us, and trust us, and they are seeing us as the go-to expert. We're making it so that we're unforgettable when we nurture appropriately. If you nurture appropriately, then you're going to be, be, be able to convert much easier, okay? Conversions are so much easier when you've nurtured the relationship, and we're gonna go over that in a minute. Then once you actually get that client finally, we have to make sure that we fulfill and deliver on what we've promised. So we want to make sure that we have the right tools and resources to give them the very best possible experience. And if we do so, the hope is that they will refer us, we'll retain them as clients, and they will resell with us more. Now here's the problem with that. Refer, retain, resell. If you don't have rituals and routines, in many cases, that will not happen. Now, haven't all of you in here, your clients love you, I can tell because you're all here, right? Like You guys are dedicated to be successful. You love your clients. Your clients love you. Is that the true? Okay, have you ever been like at Walmart or Kmart and you see an old client that loved you and they're like, oh my God, I just bought a house. And you're like, what? You're like, why didn't you use me? <laughs> right? Like it has happened, it hasn't happened to us all. Okay, it's happened to me too. That's because I made it to where I was unforgettable. Okay, I was, unfor I was unforgettable. People forgot about me. So if we have the right rituals and routines and we're marketing properly and we're nurturing properly, that will not happen. Okay, so that's the goal here. So I want you to learn to take imperfect action. Everyone's getting ready, everyone's aiming, but I want to see you fire more, okay? I can't tell you how many times we're like, I'm getting ready to get ready to get ready. Like, I don't have that thing yet, so I'm not going to do it. I'm like, no, do it right away, okay? Successful people take action very, very quickly, and they, they just go for it, okay? So I want you to think about that as we go, as we go through. So, my secret weapon absolutely has been video. When the market, um, I used to sell foreclosures and REOs and all that good stuff, right? My best year in real estate, I sold 169 foreclosures. And I'd rather be like a stripper in Vegas than ever do that again for the record. I would not make any money, but that was like the hardest thing ever to do. But what happened was the market got better. And when the market got better, nobody knew me. I had not been marketing myself. These properties were selling so fast, it was crazy. I went on a listing presentation, and I didn't get the listing, and I called back and said, hi, you know, what do you think? And they're like, we loved you, Krista, but the last guy called you a foreclosure queen. And I was like, first of all, what an a-hole, and secondly, I am one. You know, I'm a foreclosure queen, right? No one knew me. So I realized I absolutely had to start changing the way that I was doing business. And so I started studying what the Fortune 500 companies were doing, and they were doing what they call content marketing, right? They're constantly putting out value, putting out content, and so I thought, I'm going to do that. Why does McDonald's, and by the way, McDonald's is a $146 billion company, and Burger King is only $7.1 billion. They're the same dang thing, but McDonald's is excellent at a few things that, that Burger King's not. One of those things is branding. Okay, they know the importance of exposure. That's why you see, you know, McDonald's commercials during the Super Bowl, which is like so expensive because they know how important it is to market. Does that make sense, everybody? So we want to copy what the Fortune 500 companies do. So I decided back when that happened that I was going to become a, the, a digital marketing expert, a digital marketing queen, not the foreclosure queen, and I completely revamped my business and how I marketed to people. And within a year, I was back up over, to over 100 homes again, and they were not foreclosures. They were traditional sales, okay? So what should that tell you? That should tell you that if you're brand new to the, to the industry, this can work for you. If you're brand new to an area, this can absolutely work for you. And if you're already doing well and you want to do better, you can do better. If you're already a top producer, you can do even more. This is an amazing strategy. And we've taught people from you know, all different walks of, of, of different markets, different age levels, different experience levels to do this. Video is your secret weapon. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.